welcome to Profound YouTube channel. So um, today's video is on apply electricity, and we are going to talk about Kirchhoff's current law and voltage law, and also Thevenin's theorem. Um, and also we'll take an example under Thevenin's theorem to solve. Oh, please make sure that you watch this video to the end because it's the example is very um, interesting for you to look, and it will help you to solve more examples on when it comes to Thevenin and Kirchhoff. And put it up. So let's go to let's get it going. So with um the catch up law, as in the catch up uh, law, and the there are two laws uh, with catch up. That's there are two laws. One is the current law, mm -hmm. and one is the put it law. So with the laws, the current law state that the sum of the current entering a node equals the sum of current leaving a node, and um, this is. The breakdown is when you check this. Um, when you talk about a node, it's uh, it's a part that or it's a part that current join or the the part. So when you check here, as in the sum of current leaving the junction on the node. So if this is leaving, so this plus this should be equal to this coming in and this coming in and this coming in. So that's the principle. So as you've seen within an example, which is I plus 3 plus 4 which is those coming in we have the we have the 4 we have the 3 and we have um the I so these are the currents coming in or joining in at the node so should be equal to the one going out so you know that this current is moving out of the node this also is also moving out so when you solve it the current which is I is two. So this is mostly applied when a uh, question is given you're supposed to distribute the current. You just use this principle to solve for the KCL. But with the catch off voltage law, which is the algebraic sum of the voltage in a loop, a loop is a closed path is zero, equals zero. Yeah, alternately in a loop, the algebraic sum of voltage source equals the algebraic sum of the voltage drop. So we are going to take an example that you are going to apply all this inside. So, so the example is um is based on Thevenin's theorem. And with Thevenin's theorem, it states that any linear circuit connected between two terminals can be replaced by Thevenin voltage in series with a Thevenin resistance. So, um what the Thevenin talks about is when uh, a circuit is given to you and you are asked to find maybe a current in one of the resistance, you must make sure that you must uh, make sure you tackle the. Uh, the circuit so that it can be in series with the voltage that the Thevenin voltage and the Thevenin resistance. So we have an example that we are going to solve. That is, use Thevenin's theorem to find the current in 5 ohm resistor of the circuit below. So we have a circuit nicely drawn. So this is a nice circuit and it's an assignment. Yes, yeah, an assignment in applied electricity. So I take my time to break it down to take this example. So there's a question given to us. Uh, the note that the Thevenin's are uh, using the Thevenin's theorem comes with law. So you need to. I'm going. I've taken the laws one by one to solve this problem. So let's go on with the law. So the first law, as you state that, as um, the first law is remove the resistor from the circuit. As you can see here, remove the resistor from the circuit and mark the two terminals and find the open circuit voltage with VTH, that's a voltage, Thevenin's voltage, across the terminal by applying KVL and treat the voltage as a source. So what you need to do is, this simply, they are asking you to find the current in 5 ohm resistor. So what you do now is, you are going to replace this resistor with a Thevenin's voltage, that is VTH. Yes, you are going to replace it with the Thevenin's voltage. And when you do that, you are going to make it as a source. So you are going to choose your direction in which you want it to be. So my direction, actually, I want it to be here. So now, it's like a what? A voltage source now. So when we're drawing this diagram, as in, you are going to remove this 5 ohm resistor and open, that's an open source, that is, you bring a dot here, you bring a dot here. And you place them with a Thevenin voltage, that's VTH. 
So the first thing is when you are done with that, we need to find the VTH. So that's the first. We remove the resistor, replace it with VTH, choose your direction and find the VTH. So how do you find the VTH? One may ask. So with the VTH, we should apply what? The KVL rule. So with the KVL rule, we are going to take loop by loop. As in we have a loop B C D A B. It's first loop. You take another loop, you take another loop. So let's take this loop. So let's take loop B C D A B. So I'm going to take the direction to pass here. That is I'm going to take my direction. Well, with the direction, you can choose any direction you want. So with loop B C D A B, let's do something. And me, I'm going to label the current from this source at I. So the main the current moving is I. So when you get here, the current to move here and come here back and join the source back. This is because there's an open circuit here, but in theory we are regarding that open circuit as a source, but it's an open circuit, so current will not be able to flow through. So when you're finding it, you're going to do that to find this loop using the KVL law, you're going to get 7 is equal to 2 plus 3 I. This is because the current moving through the 2 ohm resistor will also move through the 3 ohm resistor. So with the loop B, C, D, A, B, you are going to get 7 is equal to 2 plus 3 into bracket I. So to find I, our I is now 7 over 5 amps. So now we know that the current moving from the 7 volt source is um, 7 over 5 amps. Now let's take another loop. That is with loop E, J, H, F. You are going to take it like I'm going to take the loop to pass through here. So I'm taking my direction to pass here. So when you take your direction, it means that the voltage will be negative because I'm taking that is anti clockwise, right? So that will be negative 10 is equal to this. I'm going to label the current moving here as I1. That's moving here as I1. So you're going to get 2 plus 2 I1 because the same current will pass through the 2 ohm resistor and also the 2 ohm resistor. So when you do that correctly, you're going to get the I1 to be negative 10 over 4 amps. Yes, so now we are going to take the last loop which involves the VTH because we need the VTH to solve. So the last loop which loop loop C E F D E. What you do is now is now this is the main source. We are regarding this as the main source. So it's passing here. So you know that the current passing through here is I. But well, people may ask, well, the current pass through here, no please. So you're not going to involve the two ohm resistor. So it will be the VTH is equal to the three ohm resistor that is 3i plus uh, minus because when you do this the current is moving this way right and the vth is moving this way so it will oppose the 2 ohm resistor making it vth is equal to 3i minus 2i1 yes so when you do that correctly you are going to get that vth you know that the i we find i to be 7 over 5 and we i want to be negative 10 over 4 so when you do that the vth is going to give you 46 over Five volts. Yes, that's the VTH, forty-six over five volts, which is nine point two volts. So that's the VTH. Now, after finding the VTH, we are moving on. The next thing to do is use root two. You deactivate all the source. We need to find the turbanin resistance. So you deactivate all the source. Let's see this diagram. You deactivate all the source. So you deactivate all the source. And you try to find the total resistance. So as you can see, this now be also an open circuit, open circuit with RTH. That is RTH. Yeah. So what you do now is like you are finding the total resistance. That's you are going to apply the same way finding the total resistance. So you are going to find it. So this resistor will be in parallel with this, and this will be in parallel with it, and it will be in series with that. So when you do it. The total resistance that is the same as the RTH will be 2 ohm resistor being parallel with 2 ohm resistor plus this and this plus that. So when you do that correctly, you're going to get when you do that, this will be 4 over 4, that's 4 times 4. As in my previous video, I taught you how to find um, calculate uh, resistors in parallel and also in series. So when you do that correctly, you're going to get 4.2 ohms. So with the uh, Tevani resistance, you're going to get 4.2 ohms as in the Tevani resistance. Yes. So when you do correctly, 4.2 ohm resistor. So now let's move on to the next one. After doing that, 
the next thing to do is to rearrange this VTH and LTH in a circuit that is in a series form. So as you can see, I've done it very nice here. So now the question was, uh, uh, it asks us to find the current in five ohm resistor. So the five ohm resistor must be included. So the VTH and LTH are in series. Yes, so the formula I'm going to use for the VTH now is now you have the VTH and LTH. So what you need is the I. So this is the formula you're going to use for the I. As you know that current is equal to voltage over resistance. So with this, as the explanation of the VTH is very simple, or for you to find the I is very simple, you know that this resistor and this resistor are in series. Yes, so finding the total resistor, that will be the Tevani resistance, Tevani resistor times the R1, which is the 5 ohm resistor. We the ask to find the current in that. So that will be this plus this. And you know that the volt, that's the volt over the resistance to give you the current. So when you do that correctly, you're going to get 9.2 volt over 4.2 ohms plus 5 ohms. Yes. So when you do that correctly, that's what you're going to get. And when you do that, your answer should give you one ampere. Yes, the one amp. So the answer for the 5 ohm or the current passing through the 5 ohm using Tevani, you get one amps. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe for more videos and also share, like, and hit the notification whenever I release new video. Thank you very much.